Alright guys, here we have your standard RM100. I'm going to show you how this is all going to go down. It's very, very simple to do the uh, install yourself. What we're going to start by doing is removing the screws over here that are going to take our back plate off. And for any beginners, we're also going to pull this front plate off just so that there's access to everything. So let's do that. Okay, so what you're seeing now is the front and the back removed, and you can clearly see the transformers, the power tubes, all that kind of stuff. What we're going to do is pop some screws out from the bottom of this, and uh, that's going to free up our uh, amp itself. We're going to pull it out of the wood shell, do a simple replacement, and we're done. Okay, with all eight... <clears throat> screws from the uh, wood shell. You can see now that the amp is freely moving inside uh, inside there and we're gonna pull it out and make our, our uh, change here. Okay we have the amp flipped over and I just want to point one little thing out here is that it's resting on the transformers not the power tubes. If you have uh, tall power tubes whether they be 6550s or whatever you don't want the uh, amp resting on those tubes so you're gonna want to pull them I've done this a few times and uh, I can tell you that I'm clear. So, in any case, let's take a look over here. We have presence and density, okay? So this is what we're working with. This is already the salvation board. Uh, I had so much fun doing the install the first time that I had to uh, shoot it again. So uh, what I'm going to show you is how to remove <laughs> these uh, two little, little uh, knobs here. Sometimes they just pull right off. These happen to be uh, little sprues, so let's pull these off. Alright, so what I'm doing now after I've pulled my knobs off is uh, just moving these little bolts here. Okay. And just like that, you are ready to pull this baby out. Very safely, mind you. And let me show you how this is going to work. Okay, by this point now, you have pulled your connectors. Your old presence and density board. And now, we have in here our salvation upgraded board. What we want to make sure we do when we pull these connectors, you can't really see the writing very well, but you want to write with a very thin permanent marker, uh, such as this one. You know, really good fine point, so that when you take these connectors out, especially for you RM50 guys, uh, that, that, that one's coming up, uh, this one only has two connectors, so it's pretty easy. The RM50 has seven, so uh, you got to be pretty careful with that. Let's make these connections just as easy as snapping them in. Okay, I just want to make a quick mention. Uh, this is the old board actually, but when you get your board from Salvation, it's going to have a screw and it's going to have a washer that's on it. Uh, word to the wise, take that off. It's not going to fit in here properly if that screw is left on there. I know you're going to have a screw from the one that you took off, however, uh, you do have to pay attention as well. So uh, check this out. All you have to do now, once we have our uh, little bolt back on there, is tighten these up. And you really don't need to worry too much about making some crazy uh, tight connection here. If it makes you feel any better, give it a couple... couple twists of love there and uh, we're good to go. We're going to put our knobs back on and uh, reverse the assembly process and we're good to go. Okay, set screw back on, knobs back on, salvation board installed, connectors labeled. We're just going to flip this over, pop it in the head shell and we're done. All right, that weight just practically floated back into the head shell. And uh, I'm just going to put these eight <clears throat> screws back in. All 
All right, guys, here's an RM50, and this one already has the magical uh, salvation push-pull on it. But this is going to be a basic uh, disassembly, and what I'm going to do here is actually remove the jumper. Uh, so that's going to be kind of neat. The only thing I've done so far is removing that back plate uh, so that you can access everything. And uh, we're going to get started by removing these screws on top. So uh, let's do that safely and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Okay, the amp is inverted and uh, the screws are removed. And what I want to point out for you guys with a reverb tank on these things is that there is an actual power assembly, uh, a power plug I should say, that goes right there that you're going to have to uh, unplug to get this thing out safely. So uh, let's, let's pull it out of the uh, wood shell. And after a few choice words, the amp is now removed from the head shell. I'm also going to pop out my power tubes because when I uh, flip this amp over, I know that these are going to be a little bit taller uh, than the uh, transformers and I don't want the amp leaning on the power tubes. Okay, so next thing you have to do uh, is the same thing with the RM100. However, you have to remove all four of these knobs all four of the uh, little screws that hold it in. Then your uh, two little screws here. I have one already removed over here to show you where the next one goes. And uh, what you got to be careful, careful, careful to do with each one of these. Oh, there we go. As you can see, this one is number two. You have to make sure that your connectors, when you pull them from your previous uh, board over to this one, they're going to connect the same way. And it's going to look like, oh boy, I could probably just remember which one goes where. Well, guess what? You're not going to. <laughs> I can tell you that from experience. You're just not. And it's going to really suck trying to remember which one went where. So the idea is to remember this uh, little Sharpie. It's your friend. All right, so my board is ready to go. And what I want to do now is uh, this little jumper right here is going to, uh, when it's installed, it's going to give you like a half effect, basically. And I want the full... Uh, kick acidness of my salvation so goodbye little jumper it's important to put it you know somewhere important I'm gonna put mine well I shouldn't show you that on camera Okay, and finally, once you levitate your uh, amp back into the wood shell, it's important to remember to plug that power supply for your reverb tank back in. Also, when you're all finished and you get everything connected, it's really good to check your bias because bouncing everything around back here is going to make a mess of things. But in any case, as you can see, the installation is a piece of cake and the sounds are going to blow you away.